Revelio. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Don't think I've forgotten about your goblin friend. I haven't. But I needed to tell you what I've learnt. Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. I know we had to do it to open the Scriptorium, but it's not something I'd want to repeat. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with you. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. Poor Anne and Sebastian. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I can't lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. But if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. I've never had to... Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. 
What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumours that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Ugh, could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record-keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last hour, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. Oh, Uncle Roland, what have you got yourself into? They say Herbology is the study of maps. Revelio. Oceans with a girl who sits in the corner almost always nearly melts her cauldron. I find it quite disconcerting and sharp. I hope Adelaide's Uncle Roland is alright. She seems very worried. Adelaide mentioned her uncle's camp may be near Brockborough, past the river. Allow me to put you out of here. Could this be Mr. Oakes's campsite? Renrock's loyalists. Just what? Yeah, another human. In fight. Uh, uh, Incendio. Uh, Bombarda. Confringo. Uh, uh, Incendio. Uh, 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 Arresto uh, Lamentum. Now to find out what happened here. Uh. Mr. Oakes' trade journal. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. It's been ages. A rock formation? That's the first landmark on this map. Now to find the crooked tree. What do we have here? Hmm. I may have more luck higher up in the keep. This is the spot on the map. I'd best have my wits about me. You will regret coming in. Incendio. Miss me. Defender. Hit him. You cool that. This castle's hiding all sorts of secrets. What will we find in here?
Arrest her momentum. It looks as though Adelaide's instincts are spot on. Fanrock has fooled you all to your demise. Reminds me of the time I nearly fell out of a car. I was only young. not like that now. Lucky if I fit in one now. The human's word is worthless. This one. It's the skin Why have you not run away? Descend on it. Was it use magic like you? Oh, the bolt, sir. The bolt. I won't rest until you're dead. You've one less follower, Ranrock. <laughs> this must be Mr. Oaks's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. Did 
it. Oh, you found my wand and... Wait, you're a student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. It's all right, Mr. Oaks. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin, you're either very lucky or very talented. Well, how did you find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Been locked in that infernal cell for so long, they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasted goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Mr. Rokes was lucky. Hanrock's lot would never have freed him. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned... I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. At least now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest Lumos. of the tomb... Lumos! Yeah, spiders aren't insects. Don't start. We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. Wingardium Leviosa. We've read the world of another world. I shall sleep better tonight.
Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Accio! Levioso! Accio! Confringo! Defendo! There's a victory that came... All this grass. It no longer feels like a tomb. I've read about incendies that all the expansion efforts and ran into problems. Often cave-ins. And then were abandoned. Exactly. Will be. Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. Lumos. There's something here by the altar. Accio. Vidalia Leviosa. Accio. What did you find? Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced a space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. I have the report if you want to have a look. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius Curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But... Let me think for a moment. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. Confringo! The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. I don't think learning the Imperious Curse is a good idea. Really? But we've no idea what may lie ahead. But I shan't press you. I'll have your back no matter what we face in there. Here we go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on Incendium. the last one, it should be a cinch. 
<laughs> How gracious of you. Guardian of your tribe. Hmm. Akio, this looks different than what we faced before. Now we're also dealing with green symbols. That worked. Keep going. Akio! Cursed fiends. Akio! Lumos. Lumos. Akio. Vigalia Leviosa. Akio. Vigalia Leviosa. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. Akio! Incepti! Confrontego! Stupid one! Confringo! Defender! Bombarda! Stupid one! For a moment there, I thought that would never end. Akio! Sebastian! The relic! Look! Could it be? The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. I'm willing to ignore what the journal entry says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be, for Anne's sake. I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. Is that ominous? Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. 
We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian! We're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance. That the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. I never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. He just doesn't understand. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It did only upset her. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Velcroft's <sighs> in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. I'm a goblin, not a toy! Sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. 
Stay away from her. From all of us. What did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? <laughs>